Hey everyone, it's Selena here. This tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own pattern letter and also how to split it. So this example I'm going to be using a chevron pattern. This one here I pulled off from Google and I uploaded it and cleaned it up. And this pattern here is a pattern image in Design Space. And this is a free image if you have the subscription it's included. Alright, so I'm going to show you using both of those. Now I'm going to insert my text line. And um, I'm just going to use an S as an example. And when you're using text, make sure that you have a text that has a second layer. Like this one's hidden. Um, but that's, I'm, I'm looking for something that has, um, I, need, I need like a border around here. I don't need this filled in. I just need right around the edge. So I know one of the Cricut fonts that has that is um, Birthday Bash, I believe. So let me pull that one up. Birthday Bash. All right, so let's go to our Layers panel and let's unhide that second layer. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I need an edge like this. All right, so let's go ahead and duplicate that. So I'm going to need a couple of those layers. All right, so this one's already a uh, position where I need it to be. I need to um, slice this. Let's ungroup it, select them both again, and choose slice. All right, so I need this. And then with this one, let's ungroup. This one I'm going to use to um, to slice my pattern. All right, so if you don't really like the shape of this one, um, you can unlock it and kind of drag it, um, you know, however you want it to look to make your chevron. So let's do it about right there. Place that where you think it should go. Select them both. And I'm just dragging a box around the two. And choose slice. Okay, let's move this one out of the way. Delete it. And then I am going to go with this one here. So let's get rid of this. Okay, let's bring our border back over here and let's move it to the front and let's select both of those and let's center them. Go to align and we're going to center them so that they're lined up perfectly. All right now I'm going to select them both again and I'm going to weld them. And I'm going to just change the color so that you can see what it looks like. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to show you how to split it. Let's get that over. Um, I wanted to show you in case you wanted to layer this, because right now this is uh, this is open, obviously. But if you wanted to put another layer, you can um, move this into the back, and there's there's your layered. Um, letter with two different colors. All right, so let's go into insert shapes. I'm going to insert a square and I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to kind of make it the shape or the uh, width that I want to split. Okay, and let's, you can use your center and align tool if you wanted to see where it looks if I center it. Okay, right about there. All right, so let's select those two and slice. Okay, let's remove those pieces there. I need to insert, I should have made a duplicate, but I'm going to insert another square. All right, so let's unlock this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the little border um, right at at the top here. 
you can make it a little bit longer, however long you need it to be, for the name that you're going to put in between. So let's place that there. Let's duplicate that and put that there. All right, so these two lines here, I want them to be aligned correctly. So I'm just going to align to the right. All right, now I'm going to select it all and weld them. All right, and then you can insert a text line and put your name, whatever name you're going to put in there. And uh, usually whenever I'm doing a split, letter if if the letter that's split is a print then the one in, in the middle would be cursive um, or if it's a cursive monogram or something then the middle would be print that's just usually how i do it but you could just do it however you want to do it and let's choose a pretty scripty font let's see we got um choose ballerina And then we could change that color. Something like that, maybe. All right, so just know that you can create your own pattern letters. You can create your own pattern. Um, oh, look, here's another one that I saw on Facebook on how to do it. Um, let's take this pattern that I have here. Um, I see a lot of uh, monograms that have like a circle pattern around it. So let's insert a circle and let's just make this bigger all right so i'm just going to use this to slice let's choose both of those now the image that i'm trying to slice is an uploaded image and as you can see my slice button isn't coming on it's not available um, so that usually happens with an uploaded image because there's an open path it's probably not going to allow you to slice it but here's a workaround so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this I'm going to hide contour I'm just going to choose one get off of it go right back into it bring it right back click back on it get off of it and click out of it I'm going to bring that circle right back where I had it select the two and now slice is available. There's a little work around there. All right, so let's use this one here. So I'm going to get rid of these two. Bring that over. Let's add another circle. And this circle is five and one eight. Let's make it five inches exactly. And then let's make this one five inches. Um, let's actually do five and a half. What I'm going to do is create a border for this. All right, let's do one more. I'm going to duplicate that gray circle, and I'm going to make this one five inches. Okay, now I'm going to center these two. Let's get, move this out of the way so we don't get confused here. All right, center these two. And then I'm going to slice them. Okay. So there's my border. Put that there. All right. And then let's get rid of a circle in, in the middle. Let's duplicate this before I slice. All right. So let's move this. Let's center these two. I love that now they have center and a line. So helpful. All right, slice those. Oops, wrong one. Let's delete this one here. Just that. And what was I trying to do? I think I had wanted like another 
border in the inside. So let's make this one three and five six. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. I'm just trying to hurry this up here. So we got a border in the center. We have a border on the outside. Okay, let's grab all of those. You know what? Let's do. Dad, mommy. Hold on. Let's uh, center all of those and let's weld them all together. All right, let's change that back to black. Okay, and then let's add a monogram in there so you can see what it looks like. So this was um, a flip image. This was an example that I saw someone was trying to, they were asking if this could be um, created. So let's just grab this letter here. And put that right there. So I probably would have done that chevron a little bit better so that you can really see it. But uh, that's just another example of what you can do with weld and slice. I mean, there's so many things that you can create yourself. I know there's a lot of files out there that you can buy, but why buy it when you can do it yourself? I mean, to actually say, oh, no, I didn't buy this. I made this. Uh, I mean, Cricut Design Space makes it that easy to do it yourself. All right, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you learned something today, please give this, thumbs, uh, this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my videos because I'm trying to put more out there for you guys. A lot of the questions that I see out there, um, it's, it's really uh, just a lot easier for me to create something and you see it visually than me trying to explain it to you. So I um, uh, hope you have a great weekend and uh, see you in the next video.